Hi everyone, you ready to do some crafting? My name is Lori, my nickname is Rini, and I'd like to welcome you to Rini Bobini Creations. If you're new to my channel and it's the first time you've stopped by, I hope you're inspired by what you see. And if you are, please consider subscribing and sharing with your fellow crafters. To my amazing subscribers, welcome back, love you guys. So today's crafts, we're sticking with the fall thing still and for Thanksgiving and I love it is a wall hanging but it's also a lantern and I really really like the way this turned out so I'm going to stop yakking at you and we'll get on with the crafting so I did a craft a little while ago I made a pump, mesh pumpkin and put it on a, a board like this and this is originally going to be my background for it but when I got it done it wasn't the colors didn't match what I had in mind really well but I knew I'd find a use for this one and I have so wait till you see what I've come up with for this this is really cool but we're gonna need a sign at the top so I picked this up from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna paint it up um, so I'm gonna give it a couple of coats of chalk paint and we're gonna find a way to put it together probably popsicle sticks but uh, I just want to make sure the paint that I think is going to work. I want it to match these pumpkins here. So I'm kind of, I think it's going to be okay, but I may have to add a smidge of green to it. Oh, brand new chalk paint, kind of blue. Where's the tab? There isn't one. All right, just one second. Here I go, find me a tool. So, oh, maybe this will work. I don't know if you've ever watched the DIY struggle. You really should if you haven't. She's great. She makes beautiful things and she's so funny. Yeah, I feel like this should be on her job. <laughs> Can't even get the lid off the paint. Okay, here we go. So what I'm gonna do, just to make sure, because sometimes when it's wet, it looks a bit different too, right? It doesn't look quite the same as when it's dry. So it's just got, I, I use these little skewers for everything. So I'm just gonna dip it in. Wipe most of it off. Oh, it looks like it needs a bit of a stir anyway. Okay. Wipe most of it off. I'm gonna hold it up. And I think we're pretty close, but I am gonna let it dry first just to be sure that it's going to match because I find when you're trying to match colors um, they're either going to match beautifully or they're going to clash. You're better to use a contrasting color if you can't get a good match otherwise they absolutely clash but I'm thinking that that's going to work. So I just wanted to give you that little tip before so once this is dry I'll come back confirm that it is going to match and then we'll give her a couple of coats of paint. Okay, so I think this is actually fairly close. So we're just going to set that one aside again here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a couple of coats of this color in the chalk paint. And Alright, so I gave that a couple of coats. I'm pretty happy with that. And I have this little grateful um, cutout that I got from Dollar Tree. And I really do like that bronze color and I think it goes really well, but it kind of gets lost when I put it where I want to put it. You're not really going to see it. So I didn't entirely want to lose that bronze. So I think what I'm going to do for this bit is I'm just going to do a crackle finish so that the bronze peeks through, but then I'm going to give it a coat of the, the green color um, a chalk paint here as well. So first we need to go in with our crackle. I have this one, it's from Folk Art. I know there's lots of other brands. I think they probably all work just as well as each other. So. I'm just gonna pour a little bit. Sorry, I know my palette's out of the out of sight here because I got a bit of a mess going on. I'm filming a bunch of videos all at once and trying to keep it reasonably tidy in my workspace. 
But with the um, crackle, a couple things to keep in mind. My understand, I've done it both wet and waited for it to dry. If you paint over it before it's completely dry, your cracks are bigger. So on a little piece like this, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want the cracks to be too big and the spots to be too big. So I am going to let this completely dry before I put my my top coat on and then as it cracks you'll still get to see some of this beautiful bronze come through it and I think I do think it's absolutely stunning but I just found like when I was kind of looking at it like I said it was just kind of getting lost in the coloring so we'll set that aside to dry and when it's completely dry then I'll put my other coat on but while that's drying <clears throat> we can keep moving on a little bit here so what's going to happen with this particular craft is i'm going to attach the top to our um, napkin part here and then our little lantern that i sprayed orange i'm going to have it hang from it but i felt like we need something over here so i was actually this used to be a fridge magnet and I just really really loved it and I knew I wanted to incorporate it into something at some point so I think that's going to be just perfect right there so we'll have our hanger which I'll get to eventually but I don't want to do that till the end and then I'm going to attach that on and I'm just going to use hot glue for this um, because it's a hanging piece it's not something you're like using or touching or moving I think the hot glue will be fine so I'm just going to attach our little sunflower on. Now, if you don't have anything like this, Dollar Tree has so many beautiful stickers and rubs and flowers and all kinds of things. So find something that would work for you and I'm sure that you'll love it. Whatever your a pumpkin would look amazing there too, or even just some of the leaves, you could Mod Podge them on or hot glue them on. So there's a lot of ideas you could do for this. Then I'm going to wait until everything is ready to put on to put this all together because I need to make sure um, exactly where I want it to be. I, I'm not sure with how my little lantern's going to hang. If I'm going to need to put some, maybe some jangle blocks behind and pull this all the way up or if I'm going to leave it where it is. So I'm gonna wait for everything to dry and get before I put it together and then we'll come back and, and we'll finish it up all right so now our grateful uh, little sign here is all dry so now I'm gonna go back in and do a coat again of that same color paint just to I think that will just pull everything together and it won't get lost in the in the background as we talked about and again as I mentioned earlier you just don't want to go over it too many times a piece like this is fairly easy it's very small you don't really need to go over too much especially with the chalk paint you'll still get that good coverage but it does start to crack quickly and once it starts if you go over it too many times you'll pull your paint back off so just be mindful of that uh, and again I'm sure if you watch my channel you know I love the crackle and you've heard I'm gonna sound like a broken record to those that watch my channel regularly but if you do end up pulling some paint off wait for it to dry and then go back in and touch up a little bit and just try and dab at your touch up so you're not pulling because you'll just, honestly, you'll make it worse. And it happens. It happens to all of us often. It just does because you're trying to, you know, maybe you didn't get enough in one place. But you can see already the crackle coming. And I love that you can still see that bronze through. That's really what I wanted because I did love the bronze. It just was not working on that particular piece. So we're going to set that one aside to dry. And while that's drying, I should have thought of this before I put the, thing, the flower on, but that's okay, it will still work. I've decided I kind of want to rough up my edges to antique them a little bit. So I'm going to take some, um, where is my dark paint? One moment. 
Okay guys, so I don't, my camera's just done this a couple of times to me where I'm filming away and all of a sudden it's turned off at some point. So all I've done, and I will show you the technique because I'm going to do it on this piece too, is I've just dirtied up our edges a bit. So I just, I'll show you how I did it on this. But I just roughed it up just a little bit. I just wanted it to look a bit aged and not quite so clean, I guess. So how I do that is I've got this cinnamon brown that I like to use for this thing. And you can use a makeup sponge. You can use, this is just a cut up dollar store sponge from, from the cleaning section, I believe. Um, you can use a dry brush as well. I do that quite often, but I have this handy and I kind of wanted it to be a bit softer than maybe the lines of the brush. So you're just going to dip it in your paint and wipe most of it off. And as I was kind of <laughs> saying, you know, when my camera was turned off so I couldn't show you, is if I'm, I'm not 100% sure how much paint is actually off, I'll pick a spot that's kind of inconspicuous. So I've got this little spot that's dark anyway, and I'll just, and yeah, if you're happy with that, you carry on. If it's a bit darker than what you were hoping for, just wipe some more off. So I'm just gonna kind of go around the edges of the whole thing here and just, just age it a little bit. Just And I might even like, so on the top edge, now I'm going to try it on the top because that's what I'm going to probably be seeing. So if I don't like it, um, I'm going to go a little bit thicker and just see if I like that a little bit darker right on the edge. But yeah, if you can find when you're doing something like this, a spot that is kind of inconspicuous, is easy, test it or even test it on like a, you know, a spare piece if you have. And the other thing that's kind of nice about working not so much on the, the top part that we were doing, because I haven't sealed it yet, but because this was Mod Podge, it's sealed. So you can often, if you don't leave it too long, you can even wipe it back off. show off those wrinkles and help look at, make it look a little bit aged too. If yours is perfectly smooth, you can still do this. Um, I am not quite as good as some of the whole decoupage, but I don't mind the wrinkles depending on what I'm doing. And we're just dirty enough, just a little bit. And then I'm just going to go back over and smudge them. All right, so I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. So now when we put this together, it's gonna look a little bit more aged. We've got our grateful, and I think it stands out just that little bit more than I like, and then we'll put our hanger on. They do need to wait for everything to dry, so I'll let that set up and then we'll finish off our project. All right, so now before we can finish putting the whole thing together here, we need to glue the top to the bottom. And I'm going to glue it, as you see here, with the back, the lip being here instead of that way. And I'm doing that because of the lantern. It'll probably be okay either way, but I think this will be the better fix. So to do it, I'm going to use my Gorilla Glue, but I'm also going to use some hot glue just to hold it while it happens. And I'll probably put a little weight on there because I wasn't very smart and put my thing on. And so it's not going to lay flat until I flip it over, which is okay. It doesn't really matter because of the way we're going to do it. So I'm just going to start. I've got a big popsicle stick, as you can see. And... I'm going to start by giving that some good glue and I'm just going to use a paintbrush for that just so I get it pretty thick and get it where I want it. And 
and you can use whatever wood glue you have handy. I just happen to have this and it's been working really well for me. I got a good deal on it at Michael's when it was on sale. I'm just going to leave the ends for the hot glue. Um, just so I can get it where I want it and laid out and then we can flip it over and put it together here. So here's hoping my hot glue is hot already. Now I'll flip the whole thing over and we're going to stick it. There, just like that. And now I am going to wait for that this to get good and dry before we put it together. Uh, just because I don't want to risk having it pop apart while we're putting our books and signs and things on. So I'm just going to put some weight on it. Um, I'll probably just get a jar full of water just to keep it good and snug and then when it's all dry we'll come back and put it together all right guys so everything is dried and set and the only thing I'm gonna do just to reinforce this back a little bit is I'm gonna take some of this felt this is just from Dollarama I'm gonna cut a strip I know that's gonna be longer than I need And I'm just going to go right over top like that. I just find that that gives it that little bit of extra stability, keeps everything where it's supposed to be. Um, so I'm going to just, and I'm just going to hot glue it. Um, you can, of course, use any kind of glue you want, but in the interest of time and filming, we're using hot glue. Oh, if you could see this side, my workspace, you'd be like, what a mess. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of do this weird zigzaggy pattern. It's probably over the hill, but and I probably went too far too. And that's just going to double secure everything so that everything is down where it's supposed to be and it's not going anywhere. All right, so now that I'm happy with that, we're going to turn it over. And I have this little hook. It was black. I did just paint it brown. And I'm just going to see sort of where I want my lantern to hang because... <coughs> okay, I'm going to put it there. So I'm just going to mark it with my little scoop. And then I am going to come in with my drill and just a small drill bit. I just want to start it so I can screw it in and it'll be tight. I don't want to go big with my drill bit because um, it, it, if it's too big then it won't stay in obviously. So I'm hoping this little one's enough and I'm only going to go a little ways. I'm not going to go through. That's just a starter hole. That's all that is. <clears throat> to help me put it in, because if I, like I said, if I do a big hole, I find it doesn't grip, especially on this MDF stuff. It's not like it's good plywood or something. I did measure this. I should have mentioned that to make sure that when I screwed it in, it wouldn't go through my board. And it doesn't. There we go. And so just the last thing here is I've got our grateful sign that we did. 
And I've got these, I tried the little blocks. I want this raised up, I want to give it some dimension that way. <clears throat> so I'm just going to glue them to the back in inconspicuous places. And then I'm just going to attach it to the board just like that. Well, again, this is one of those things if you want a total permanent hole, if you're uh, selling it or something, you may want to go with an E6000 or a wood glue. Uh, this is just going up on my wall, so I'm not too concerned. There's our little lantern. Now, if I'm going to add a few florals, <clears throat> if you want to go, you could fill this with florals instead of a candle. I'm going to put a candle in there and I'm probably going to put a real one in. So I'm not going to do a lot of flowers. I'm thinking maybe just a little something at the top because I don't obviously want to catch it on fire. If you're using an LED candle or you want to fill it with flowers or something else other than the candle, go crazy because like I said, I'm going to use a real candle in this one um, outside here, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh, the other thing I didn't do. Oh, I forgot to put the hanger on it, didn't I? I totally did. So for the hanger, I'm going to use this wire. Um, I am gonna go out and just Probably give it a quick spray of the brown paint and you just need some wire cutters for this and they do need to be decent wire cutters to work there there because this is a little bit thicker I got it from the garden center in at the Dollarama this summer and I use it for all kinds of stuff so grab yourself some of that because it's great for all these projects and then what I like to do is just take a paintbrush or a dowel and sometimes I do it in the middle. This one I'm going to kind of go on either side. I give it like that curly cue. And as much or as little or none if you want. I'll show you how I'm going to attach it. Now you can certainly use a staple gun to attach it. Um, I'm not sure if that's the route. Yes, I think that is what we're going to do. So I am going to use a staple gun to attach it in there, but I'm first I'm just going to touch it up with some paint so it's not the only thing silver on here. And then I'll show you the finished product. Okay guys, so this is it. I found the little sunflower there in my stash. I know I got that one from the Dollarama. And that's all I really wanted for embellishments because I'm going to put a real candle in here. Um, the back, I'll just show you. Let me take that off. I just bent, did the staples and bent them up so that they wouldn't slide out. You're more than welcome to um, glue them down, same kind of thing as this. That would work as well. But yeah, try and remember to do it before you put all this stuff on the front. Front That would have made things easier. And yeah, or to even just put a little felt over the corners. So I really hope you like this one. I love the way this turned out. I think it's so cute and it cost me like nothing. I think be grateful. I got a whole bunch of them in the package for $1.25 from Dollar Tree. This was in my stash. This was a 50 cent find at the thrift store and everything else was just already in my stash. So can't beat that price. So thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you the next time.